And number three, we have room 669. This was a very odd game. Everything was kind of frozen in time, as though something was happening. You know, like a, It seemed like a dorm party, as it were. And you had to kind of go through and solve some little puzzles here and there of how to get through and progress through the area. Now, I did get stuck on the video at one point, figuring out what on earth do I do, but I actually carried on after I had ended that video, and I really enjoyed it even more. I just wish I'd have carried on recording, to be honest. The whole style and art direction of it was really nice as well, and I think the premise of it was quite unique. Um, I've not really played anything similar to it at all, but I did really enjoy my time with this one. And number two, we have Geflect, or Geflect, or Geflect. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. This one was a little 2D uh, game, which was kind of put together for a game jam. And it does appear really, really nice. It, again, it was a, a unique premise of having to kind of deflect all of the little uh, objects coming towards you to destroy any enemies, trying to get through each wave. Um, it was quite difficult to be honest but it was really enjoyable once you got the hang of trying to maneuver your character or player around and what you had to do when to click when to deflect like i say once you got the hang of that it was really good fun to play and i would recommend you actually heading over there and downloading it just giving it a go give it time get yourself used to it first the whole visual of it as well was really really nice it's the whole 2d aesthetic of this game was just pleasing to look at and it was just a lot of fun to play and number one we have one hand clapping now i'm not entirely sure what the one hand clapping thing was all about because uh, there was no clapping there was no hand or anything like that but it was all about your voice and i'll apologize to everyone who actually watched me play through that game because my singing is awful I cannot sing, my voice is awful, but the idea of it was incredibly unique and that is why it is number one here. Visually, it looks absolutely stunning. I really like how it looked. There's just absolutely no changing that. It looks fantastic. And the premise of using your voice to actually solve puzzles was just unbelievable. I really, really enjoyed it and I could see that actually going quite far. Um, if it was just refined a little bit more, if it was just, you know, that could just detect my voice just that little bit better. But for what it was, it was definitely, definitely worth it. So I'll leave the link to all three games below in the description for you to have a go if you want to. And I do have playthroughs on my channel. Feel free to check them out as well. And I will see you next month with some great indie Unity games. I think that was my own fault.